and today we're making involtino fish espada, aka rolled swordfish. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. This recipe takes us all the way down to Sicily, one of the most beautiful islands on the planet. And the Sicilians really have mastered the way to cook swordfish, pesce espada, in beautiful, beautiful ways. And this is just one of the many recipes you can do. If like many out there, you don't eat swordfish or you just make a grill, this is gonna change your life. For the ingredients, we have extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna use tagliallo, which is from the south of Italy, not quite Sicily, but close by. Orange juice, lemon, salt, breadcrumbs, parsley, swordfish, and anchovies. So we start off with making this stuffing. So it's breadcrumbs. To these, we're gonna add the zest of a lemon and the zest of an orange. And of course, the citrusy flavors in Sicily are fantastic because they produce their own oranges, their own lemons, and the heat in the sun makes them so sweet and full of juice. These are not quite Sicilians, but hopefully they'll do the job anyway. We then squeeze one orange. We're then going to use all the anchovies from a little pack. And I know there are a lot of anchovy haters out there, but you really need to give them a try. They are fantastic, especially when used delicately, just a little bit with some dishes. It really enhances the flavor. And it's not going to taste fishy. Mind you, we're making fish today, so hopefully it will taste fishy, but you know, generally speaking. So we're just going to chop them thinly into our stuffing. Similar thing with the parsley, chop it nice and thin. And that goes in. Some extra virgin olive oil. Don't be shy. And we give this a mix. Now, depending on how salty your anchovies are, you may or you may not need to add extra salt. So we're just gonna taste it in a minute and decide. Taste them. It needs a pinch of salt and probably a little bit more orange juice. So we'll do that. Tiny spoon of salt and half an orange juice. Well, half an orange. The juice of half an orange, that's the one. So once you get this consistency, because it's gonna help to maintain the moisture after we do the cooking. This is perfect, we set it aside. What you wanna ask your fishmongers to cut them as thin as they can. And this is the outcome. In Sicily, some of the fishmongers actually use the slicer, the same one you would use for prosciutto and ham to make it that extra thin. And then depending on the taste, I like to take this red bit out because it's a little bit too strong for my taste. So I just take it out and I throw it away. And we do that with all these slices. So we take the red bit off and we take the skin off. The one thing which I always forget when I'm doing fish is you better use a glove, otherwise your hand is gonna stink like fish for a day. And at this point we begin stuffing. So with some in your hand, I'll make a little bit of a ball. Don't squeeze too much because you don't want to release the liquids, but you want it to be able to stay. Then we fold it like a burrito. This goes in. This goes in as well, and this folds into place. We use a toothpick. One should be enough, but let's put two for good measure. Once we have it, here it goes. So next one up, same thing. Take it, we make a little ball in our hands, little ball in the middle. Stretch this and roll it in. These loose bits, just put them inside. This gets rolled. Take a toothpick, comes in, comes out. And then we take one for the other side. Some extra virgin olive oil on top of it. Again, let's not be shy about it. We're gonna squeeze in an orange and you need all this juice at the bottom of the tray. It's gonna help the fish to remain moisturized. Sprinkle breadcrumbs. 
some recipe call for the olive volcano to be covered in breadcrumbs. I find that just a little sprinkle on the top, it's enough because otherwise it really does overpower the flavor of the fish, which when you buy salt fish, you want to taste it. Again, more extra virgin olive oil, and we finish off with white. Right. This dish is going to be delicate, it's going to be zesty, it's going to be floral, it's going to be amazing. So into the oven, 190 static. Cooking time will depend on how thick your fishmonger has got the swordfish. So I'm going to show you how it looks when it's ready so that you can judge the time yourself. After 20 minutes, of which the last five were with the grill, here it is. And it's important when you cook them not to overdo it. You want to make sure that they remain nice and juicy. So never more than 20 minutes. And that's how the cooking juices. Let's give this a taste. When you open it up, it's nice and juicy from all the stuffing. Buon appetito. Mm.